Hey guys, Nash here, and in this video, I'm going to review Candy OS 8.1 for my Redmi Note 4. Now, this ROM is based on latest Android 8.1, and in this video, I'm going to show you how this ROM is slightly different from other ROMs and what kind of features this ROM provides. So, let's get started. So from very first boot, this is the kind of home screen you get in this room. And this is not a pixel launcher, it's something else. It's called Ruthless Launcher and it comes pre-installed in this room. It has so many features like you can change the icon pack and you can change the shape of the icons. You can customize your home screen, your app drawer as well as your dock. Now definitely a very good launcher considering it's free. And as you can see, it comes with latest Google security patch of April 5. All the features are neatly organized in a tab called Candy Shop. And that tab is put on the top. As soon as you open Candy Shop, you are greeted with all the features nicely organized on horizontal tabs. You can easily navigate by swiping right or left. So apart from the usual customization that you get in every other custom room like status bar customization, notification drawer customization, navigation bar customization, this room has few unique features. Like you can customize your torch, you can customize your vibrate intensity. And when I say torch customization, it means you can increase or decrease your yellow or white LED brightness in the torch. Also you get alarm blocker, it means you can block your alarm when your screen is off. Now sometimes this feature is necessary when you have too many alarms set up and sometimes you just don't want to wake up. And my favorite feature in this room is Android P animations. You can easily enable this feature in candy shop and once you enable that, you get Android P animations and with this feature I just took one step closer to Android P. And of course, you can have Android P theme if you install Exposed. Now, if you don't know how to get that, I will drop the video in i button, so don't forget to check that out. I have been using this ROM for the last two days, and I can say this ROM is smooth. There is no F Force Close, no random reboot, and I can play PUBG on this ROM easily. Just have a look. So the game is running quite smoothly, there was no glitch or lag in this game as well as my phone didn't overheat while playing this heavy game. Considering this is Snapdragon 625 CPU, I'm really happy with this ROM. And now let's talk about battery life. I got around 8 hours of screen on time with my normal usage and that includes WhatsApp, Google+, YouTube and I always keep my brightness at 50%. And just for perspective, let me show you Geekbench and n to do Benchmark score. And guys, there is one outstanding feature in this room called Smart Pixel. Now when you enable this feature, it will turn off unnecessary pixels on your screen. Thus, it will give you extra battery life. So this is really a good room. Personally, I like this room and I can recommend this room as a daily driver. I'm going to give this room 4.7 out of 5. I would have given more if there was OTA updates in this room. And apart from Redmi Note 4, this room is available for many phones. And as always, you will find all the links in the description box below. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed these kind of videos. If you do, don't forget to like this video. It really helps the channel. This is your friend Nan signing out. And I will see you tomorrow. Ooh.